other stories. The NDC MP for South Dai, Roxy Nelson, the former process. The Attorney General, Godfrey Dami, lacks principles and flip flops depending on what suits him. The comments come on the back of an Accra High Court granting his application for abridgment of time in a case that the MP is seeking to compel President Akufuado to receive the anti gay bill passed by Parliament. The presidency has refused on three different occasions to receive the bill passed by Parliament, citing pending cases against the bill as a reason. But the NDC MP in a Mandamu's application is urging the High Court to order the president to receive the bill. Member of our legal affairs desk, Wekwa Sante, was in court for us and our reports. It's been months since Parliament passed that controversial anti-LGBTQ bill. The president has on three different occasions refused to accept the bill, let alone signify whether or not he is going to sign it or not. The NDC MPs are livid about the situation and there's a raging legal battle at the Supreme Court and here at the High Court as well to get the president to act. Here at the High Court, the NDC MP through his lawyers have filed an application for mandamus seeking to compel President Ekufuado to receive the bill and signify whether or not he's going to sign it or not. Eventually, now what is going to happen is the lawyers have filed for an abridgment of time to get the case heard expeditiously. The court has granted that application to hear this case expeditiously, and the motion for mandamus has since been moved right here in the High Court. The Attorney General, however, says he wants to respond on some points of law and will come to the court on the 18th to do so. It is after that that the court will now set a date for judgment on this matter. The lawyers say that they are impressed with all that has happened. At all. If we hadn't gotten the expedited the means we would rather come back on the 50 to take our motion, then we'll have to wait for the other side to do their affidavit in opposition, and then we would now have to now get a date for judgment. So it's rather expedites the, the case. We've cleared our side of the way, and then they have the opportunity to also respond, and then we proceed. But the NDC MP Roxin Dafia Mekpo is not at all happy with the way the Attorney General's office is conducting the case. He is accusing the Attorney General of seeking to prioritize some cases ahead of others. Um, you have an Attorney General who, in one case, wants a matter to be heard the next day, even though it's not it's premature, and yet will come to court and say that he's not prepared, he hasn't filed any affidavit in opposition, We want to argue the matter strictly on law, but will ask for a date. I, I mean, the, the, the irony is so staggering, but here we are. But I, I prefer this to going to May or June. You know, this, you know that we are just back from Easter, so the courts are very, um, very busy with uh, part heads. So for a fresh matter like this to receive priority from the bench, uh, it's uh, refreshing. So I'm very happy that come the 18th, a uh, decision will be made. Uh, whether in our favor or not, um, I, I believe that uh, you, you have exhibited commitment in this matter. But back in court also, Roxy Nelson, the former court, has been seeking to get a declaration of the High Court on the disposal of vehicles. The Chief of Staff has been in the practice of granting state institutions the approval to dispose of vehicles. Roxy Nelson, the former court, again says that is irregular and he has sued the uh, Kumasi Technical University in this matter. The court will make a decision on this matter in July. Reporting for Joy News, Kweku Asante, High Court Complex, Accra.